I walk outside and all these strangers and people that I do know actually from the neighborhood, they're standing in the yard and I turn around and we have this huge tree that used to be there. It's not there anymore. It got cut down because it, it I mean, most of it burned because it, it, the house caught and then the tree caught from the house. And I turn around and I just see flames at the top of this, like, I don't know, like 30 to 50 foot tree. <laughs> and I'm just standing there like, and I'm just like, I didn't even realize it in the moment, but I was just in this crazy amount of shock because like, I didn't even know that I didn't have clothes on in front of all these strangers. Like I'm wearing boxers and a do-rag, like no socks, nothing like, and my mom and my brother were gone. No one else was home. There was only three of us that lived there. And like, I remember looking down and noticing my mom and my brother pull up because they can't even turn on our street because the firemen are putting this fire out for us and uh like they showed up and they're just like what happened and i'm just like still in shock because i don't know what happened like i went to bed and i woke up and there was a fire happening and i just knew at that point like i knew someone was watching over me like i don't know who i mean i have a few guesses you know relatives that have passed that you know have kept me safe you know outside of God himself, you know, um, but I mean, like, you know, at that point, I think it was my uncle Dino just being like, hey, like, you need to go downstairs because, you know, some flammable stuff are gonna happen and catch, but yeah, the, the fire, they said it started in the back of the house, they don't know how it started, but my, the house that my grandma grew up in and the house that I believe her, her mom grew up in. Um, the back porch was super old like I mean this thing was all wood basement you had to go outside the house open the the wooden door lift it up and then walk down the steps to go and I mean all of it was just wood and we kept a lawnmower back there we had a deep freezer plugged in and just a bunch of, bunch of other stuff that you know somebody sets it on fire it's just gonna it's just gonna go and I remember seeing the attic where our beds were and my bed was right above the back porch and that's where it started so my bed and the whole attic was gone all of it and then I just spent the whole day telling people what happened from my point of view cuz it even when i think about it now like it don't seem like something that happened cuz it like even with the smoke it just felt like it was this crazy crazy dream like like how you see like i don't know like a heavenly just <laughs> segment of a tv show or movie where there's just like the the heavenly smoke like even though this was just the whole room full of smoke from a fire <laughs> I've written about the fire a couple times, but um, there's a newer song I wrote called Black Eyed Peas that somewhat talks about having angels and like my Uncle Dino and my, my grandma who passed last year. And I mean, I'm sure I have plenty of others because I mean, when family pass, you know, for me, I believe in heaven and I believe, you know, in a positive place good people to go after uh, and that song is somewhat about that 